Meanwhile, today, three additional men have been arrested for ties to the same extremist group called the base. FBI investigators learned they were coming to the Virginia pro-gun rally. It's racist groups like that one and other threats of violence that have some people on both sides staying away. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett takes a closer look. Tensions are looming ahead of a massive pro-gun rights rally in Richmond on Monday, sparking fear in gun control and gun rights advocates alike. I am afraid that something bad is going to happen. I'm worried that, the, that it won't be safe on Monday. Gun control activist Catherine Cable was planning on going to the Capitol until she heard about the threats of violence. Now she's calling on Second Amendment supporters to reconsider. The gun rights groups who are going who aren't extremists need to ask themselves why it is that white supremacists want to show up at their rally. You know, if you're going, you're associated. Roanoke City Republican Chairman Charlie Nave disagrees. It's just not a mob. He says the weapons ban has caused hysteria and gun rights supporters are respectful, law-abiding citizens. There are fringe people out there uh, saying fringe things. Uh, but it's important to remember that there are fringe left people out there as well. And fear should not stop anyone from standing up for their rights. You ought not run away from your right to uh, freely assemble, to petition the government, uh, to associate with other people of like mind, uh, to protect another right. Both sides scared of what could happen. I fear, my ultimate fear, is that the pressure will not let up until somebody dies, like what happened in Charlottesville. And <laughs> I, that's not what I want. And I've been encouraging everyone I know that's going uh, to be on guard, uh, to be careful, and uh, to not be provoked. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.